Hey what's up Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a door with a doorknob that you can turn that'll open up the door. So let's see what this looks like. If I look over here and grab this doorknob I can twist it and you see it opens right up. Alright now let me show you how to set all this up. So I'm going to pop open a new scene here. Will not save. And um, the first thing we're going to do is grab a player. So the Steam VR kit comes with a player prefab that handles input and interactions really well. It's a great starting point. And then I want to delete out this extra main camera. Now that we've got a player in there, I need the door. So for a door, I ended up grabbing this bloody door asset off the asset store. It's free, it looked pretty nice, and it worked out pretty well. Only had to make a couple minor changes. I'll show you how to do that though. So here, I'm in the package right here, and I'm just gonna take the door, drop it into my scene, and let's find that thing, there it is. Before I get started though, I wanna create an empty parent object for this. So I'm just gonna go create, empty, I'll name this door, pull it out, and then I wanna put the door underneath it as a child. There we go, and I wanna move this rotation. The door has some animations on it, and it's using this slightly offset rotation so I'm gonna put the rotation onto the child instead so it was negative 90 there we go put that on the child and not on the parent so now I can move the parent around and have it not interfere with the doors animations or anything uh, the next thing I want to do is just get this kind of in position so that it's easy for me to use so to do that I'll just hit play grab the door figure out where it's at and then let's see let's move that Gotta go this way, and then this way, and then a little bit over there, and then I'm gonna raise it up. This is just so it's easy for me to play with this door and record and talk at the same time. Let me see, where was that? I think we need to go a tiny bit over here. There we go, now you can see it's right in my face. Now I've got it in position, I'm gonna copy the transform component, stop playing, and paste it. That just puts it right back there, so it's exactly where we need it. All right, now I'm gonna save this, just in case something goes wrong. And then I'm gonna expand out the door and find the doorknob. So on the doorknob, what I wanna do is add a circular drive. This is uh, the Steam VR way of setting up a object that you turn. If you look in the examples, you'll see there's a circular drive example in there too. So I wanna set the minimum angle to zero, and I'm gonna set the max angle to 180. And then I'll check the limited box. This is gonna make it so I can only turn it 180 degrees, and then it will stop. And it's actually gonna fire off whatever events I assign right here. So to set up the events, I'm just gonna hit the add button. And then I'm gonna drag the door down here, and I'm gonna find the animator component. So animator, and I'm gonna use set trigger, and I'm just gonna use the open trigger. If you look at the animator that's already set up with this door, you'll see there's actually an open Boolean field here. Setting the trigger in here apparently also sets this to checked, so it just works fine. I did go in and disable the has exit time on this transition though, so that the door will open immediately and not wait. Uh, before this is gonna work though, we need one other component. We need to add a collider. So let's add a capsule collider to this doorknob. And here you can see it, it's a little bit small, so I'm just gonna turn this up. Let's go to maybe 0.3 and maybe, yeah, about 0.05 on the radius. This will just make it big enough that it's easier to grab. Now I'm gonna show you this, it's gonna be a little bit weird, but I wanna show you how to fix it. So I'm gonna show it to you broken first. So if we look at this, if I reach up, I grab the doorknob, you can see I can, oh, look, I can raise it and flip it over and then it opens which is close to what we want, but we don't want it going that way. We need to fix the axis. So to do that, I'm gonna select the doorknob, expand out the circular drive, and you see the axis of rotation? We want this to be set to Y. It defaults to X. So there we go, if we grab it again, let's see. Grab this doorknob. There we go, and twist it. You see the door opens up, and we're good to go. Now if you're doing this in a real project, you probably don't want to just set the animator here. You may want to call into some code that sets the animator and then recloses the door later. Maybe you want to play some audio effects or something else when this happens. 
But I think this is a pretty simple to use system. I really like the Steam VR interaction stuff. It works really well and has a lot of built-in things. I believe the VRTK also has something similar, so if you're looking at something more cross-platform, I'd check that out for sure. And I may do another video in the future that shows how to do this without any toolkits, just in the raw code. If there's some demand for that, just drop a comment and let me know. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe.